Hey YouTube, it's SJ and I'm back with an extremely large box. So today we are unboxing the Adidas Stella McCartney First Vegan, oh yeah, Stan Smith. Let's get to it. Hey YouTube, it's SJ and I'm back and we've got a very large box to unbox. As I said, this is the Adidas Stella McCartney Stan Smith. See, the box is absolutely huge. Who says we don't show love for the free stripe on this channel? You know, let's get to it. Speeding it up about now. Okay. <laughs> now, these actually came from, sneak a cam if you can see that, Harvey Nichols. Now, the Adidas Stella McCartney drop happened on the 10th of September. Sorry, lots of rustling here. Right, let's just get this out. It's going to be a terrible unboxing. Get rid of that. Let's get to the box. So, okay, that's... So it has like, like a box protector. Never seen one of those before. So I'm going to have to be careful in opening this. So the Adidas Stella McCartney Stan Smith dropped on the 10th of September. I was actually in... Ooh. Berlin when this drop took place and it was my last day there and before I got my flight I went to the Adidas store in Mitt and they didn't have them they told me to go to a really cool store and I can't remember one earth it is called off of my head now I think it was like 72 I think it was in Mitt so I went there and they didn't open till 12 o'clock so I was like hanging around outside this really cool trainer store like some sado waiting for them to open and they had every cool pair of adidas that you've ever seen apart from these didn't they so i didn't get them but anyway cool box you've got the stars so if you know stella mccartney she tends to use a lot of stars on her thing so she has a the the, the bags have a lot of stars on you know it's quite a signature mark of stella mccartney to have stars and anybody that really knows me knows i have a bit of a thing about stars Starbox. You know, it's it's. I'm guessing this is like made of recycled material because it's not the most plush. I mean, obviously, she's probably trying to keep in with being. Yeah, this is all recycled, quite ethical and sustainable, etc. And we've got Adidas Stella McCartney there. Now here, so it says sneak plast s gomma phoenix. Okay, these are a six and a half. And the code, hmm, actually there's lots of different codes, so I'm not sure which one is correct, but I think it is 546778W1MP19096. Let's open these up. Now these were only available in Stella McCartney stores and high-end fashion stores like Harvey Nichols. I think they were, at, they were at Dover Street Market as well. They actually had Stan Smith himself and Stella McCartney signing these sneakers. Madonna was there and I was kind of gutted that I didn't go along at lunchtime. Why didn't I go? But anyway, so inside we've got a nice little Stella McCartney. I guess this is gonna be a little care thing. Okay, let's have a look. I said right back at the beginning, these are vegan Stan Smiths. So there is no leather used on these sneakers. So it says here, due to the use of non-leather and non-animal byproducts, our shoes require highly specialized production technique in order to retain our ongoing and commitment to animal and eco-friendly fashion each shoe is individually constructed by hand yes you heard that people by hand using specialist techniques adapted to each material and style product card blah 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 okay that kind of explains the price tag because these were a pricey pair of sneakers 230 of your english pounds there is also an adidas card in here and again, um, due to the nature of these shoes and the exclusive designer materials, these shoes are not guaranteed to perform like Adidas athletic shoes. Obviously not, they're Stan Smiths, really. I mean, come on, they're fashion shoes now. This is like a slow unboxing here, isn't it? <laughs> the pit you've all finally been waiting for. There we go, look at that. Mr. B on sneaker camp, look at that. Let's get these out and get all of this gubbins off the desk. Now I'm normally a UK six, 
but I went for a six and a half because I find Adidas tend to come out quite small. So, oh, okay, these are really nice. You know, I really wanted these, but because of the price, I did do the old, what I normally do, um denard, um denard, and they sold out everywhere, and then they came back in stock on Harvey Nichols, so I just like, sod it, I'm buying them. These are actually an early birthday present to myself. Mm. So they are real, I'm gonna show you this one, because it hasn't got a tag on it. So, Mr. B on Sneaker Camp, they are real bright white. The material, obviously this isn't leather, doesn't smell of leather, doesn't, doesn't really smell of plastic either, but it feels almost, not totally like, but it kind of feels like a Nubuck suede. It's a really nice material, whatever they've done to create these, they've done an amazing job. And it's a lot thicker than I was expecting. I was concerned it would look quite plasticky and it really doesn't. That's quite, quite hard to tell that that isn't leather, in all honesty. So let's go through some of the details. So as I said, it's like a pure white. It has almost got like a, a sheen to it so it's almost like a it's not quite pearlescent but it, there's definitely a, a bit of a sheen to it unless that's the studio lights you then have instead of the three stripes you, they've replaced the three stripes with three lines of stars again that's a big nod to Stella McCartney's design now on the back here I'm gonna flip it around to the back first you have this really nice touch with the, the the burgundy it's a real burgundy red and the blue stripes again nod to the three stripes at the back there and this is a really nice i can't think what it's called it, it's it's ribbon it's not velvet but it's just it's just a really nice material nice touch there so you got Adidas logo there, then you've got Stella McCartney in her logo around the outside. And on the side panel here, it actually has embossed Stella McCartney. Then you've got Adidas on a normal Stan Smith sole. And the Stan Smith sole is a little bit off-white, so it's not as bright white as the main panel here. Then you have uh, plain white laces. So on the tongue tab, rather than having just Stan Smith's face, on both of them. I'm gonna flip this around to sneaker cam. If you can pick sneaker cam, camera two, camera two. You have um, Stella McCartney's face. I'm gonna take this back to sneaker cam, if you can zoom in here. So Stella McCartney's face on the tongue tab. So it actually says Adidas Stella McCartney, then you've got endorsed by Stella McCartney's face and her signature. Now on the inside, again, even that, that, that tongue feels like a really nice leather, but obviously it isn't. Now on the inside, and I'm not sure any of the cameras is gonna pick this up, let's try sneaker cam. Burgundy shade runs all the way through the inside with Stella McCartney in that blue that's on the back. Really nice colorway. You can see that on camera number two. Just nice little touches on this. We put the paper back in that one. Now on the right hand shoe, you actually have, let's take this to sneaker cam, the man himself, Stan Smith, and it also says endorsed by Stan Smith and his signature, as you would normally get on a pair of Stan Smiths. So it's just quite nice touches on, on each of the sneakers, and there's nothing special inside this one either. It's just exactly the same, so Stella McCartney. And the sole is standard Stan, St Stan Smith sole. Now, as I said, I went for a six and a half in these because I do tend to find Adidas runs a little bit small for me. And these these do look absolutely perfect size-wise. So these are really nice pickup. I mean, I'm, I'm, I need to try them on, obviously. I've, these have been sitting. <laughs> Sitting in the box for a few days now because I just haven't had time to unbox them, so I've been desperate to unbox them and try them on. And I absolutely hope that these do fit. I'm sure they will because I don't think I'm going to get a pair in a six or a seven anywhere if these don't fit me because they seem to be totally sold out now. I have seen them already selling on eBay for over a hundred pounds more than retail, which is kind of insane just because they were so hard to get outside of you know, high-end fashion stores. So there we go, what do we think, guys? As I said, I know these were a pricey pickup, particularly for a pair of Stan Smiths, but I think, you know, I now understand the price that they're, they're handmade, which is kind of crazy. They did do these in men's as well, and the men sold out quicker than the women's. There you go. Well, they sold out quicker than the women's on Stella McCartney's own site. But it's a super nice shoe. What are we thinking on sneaker cam, Mr. B? Yeah, I mean, Mr. B, Mr. B was away when these 
when I, I found these online and he was like, just buy them, just buy them. So I did. So happy birthday to me. <laughs> it's my birthday present to myself. But yeah, why have I bought white shoes when it's gonna be raining for the next few months? So these are probably gonna sit locked away until next spring. But yeah, they're super nice. So what do we think, guys? Do we like these? Leave us a comment in the old comments below. If you're new to this channel and you haven't yet subscribed, give us an old subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. We smashed that 1,000 barrier. Yes, thank you so much to everybody that has liked, subscribed, commented over the past couple of years. Really appreciate it. And also, if you like what we're doing, join us on Sundays for Sneaker Streaming Sundays, where we look at what we've unboxed in the week, what we've bought. We look at sneaker news and we look at what we've been wearing on our feet as well. It is good, fun sneaker chat. So come along and join us at 8 p.m. British Summer Time, 12 p.m. on the West Coast and 3 p.m. on the East Coast. And as I said, leave us your comments. What do you think? Good cop, bad cop, too expensive, plain and boring, too much of a fashion hype shoe. What do we think? Leave us a comment. Over and out, guys. I'm going to go and try these on. See ya!